why is this so slow? There has to be a way to make this better, but... Yeah, I think I'm gonna need some help on this one. Let's try... Oh, okay. hello. I'm here to help you make your laptop faster. Oh, really? You're gonna it's help not me? that hard to do. It's not that and hard we can to do, do it we're together. gonna do it together? Yeah, that's awesome. Let's do yeah, this. Let's do yeah. this. Yeah. 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 We've all had that experience, right? You buy your brand new laptop, you take it home, and you're all excited about it. You load it up, and everything's so quick and responsive, but it starts to get slower, and it starts to not work as quickly and as responsively as it did before. And then it gets worse and worse as it gets older, and then the straw that breaks the camel's back is when Skype takes so long to load that you actually realize how much you hate the person that you want to Skype with, and then you think, no, 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 this is where I draw the line. And then you go on to WikiHow to see all the hints about how to fix your laptop. And it tells you things like disk defrag your hard drive and delete all your viruses and things like that. And you can kind of tell a difference, but that's not what you want. That's not good enough. There's one thing you can do to fix all of it, to make your laptop a genuine pleasure to use again, even though it is four years old and that's to install an SSD. Now the laptop that I'm going to do this test on today is an X-series laptop by Asus from the year 2014, which seems so long ago now. But it's not that terrible a laptop. I mean, it's got an i7 in it and it's got a decent amount of RAM, which is also one of the hints that people give as to how to make your laptop better. But the thing is, the biggest bottleneck in these laptops is always the mechanical drive because normal hard drives are bad enough as it is, but when they're in a laptop, they're even worse because they spin much slower and they just are very slow. Now, if you don't know what the difference is between a mechanical hard drive and an SSD, I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can read up on what the differences are. But basically, the one is a heart that's full of cholesterol and is about 95 years old, and the other one is a heart from a racehorse for Ferrari bred stallion. So yeah, it makes a pretty big difference. Now the SSD that I'm going to be using for the upgrade today is a Samsung 860 Evo. It's a 250 gig SSD. Now Samsung is a great brand to go with because they've got a great reputation for reliability and they're pretty fast. And one of the cool things about an SSD is that they might cost a bit more, but when you eventually upgrade to a new laptop, you can take the SSD out and put it in the new laptop. So you shouldn't worry too much about spending more money on getting like a 500 gig SSD or something bigger than that. So I just did the Crystal Mark benchmark um, to see how fast the laptop hard drive is, or how slow rather. And the results were fairly impressive. Look at that! That's really, really, really slow. I, I've never seen that that slow before. So I think it's fair to say that that's a slight upgrade over the previous one. <laughs> I think I think this number here, the 4K, the, the, the 4K like random reads is my favorite no, is my favorite one, going from 0 0.7 to 297 is a fairly substantial upgrade, I think. So yes, that does seem worth an upgrade, but before you go ahead ripping the hard drive out of your laptop, there are two things that you should be aware of before doing that. The first one is always back up all of the data on your hard drive so that you don't lose all of those wonderful pictures of your kittens. And the second thing is you should also see how difficult the hard drive is to actually get out of your laptop because some laptop manufacturers make it really easy for you to get to the hard drive. You kind of just have like a little panel that you unscrew and then you can take the hard drive in and put a new one in. But some manufacturers, like Asus with this specific laptop, has made it very difficult for you to get to the hard drive. So have a look at how difficult it's going to be to get to it. You can even see reviews on the internet or you can check on the manufacturer's page before trying to do it yourself. And if it seems like it's going to be too difficult for you to do, take it to a friend that's more competent or somebody who has a shop and seems to know that they can do it for you. 
but I'm going to give you more or, less, more or less an indication of what it should take to get the hard drive out. Now with all of that out of the way, let's see how much of a struggle it was to get the hard drive out of the laptop. Okay, so this is one of the issues that you have with upgrading a hard drive in certain laptops is that they don't necessarily want you to do that for whatever reason. And they've actually glued it down onto the hard drive so that it's more difficult to get out. Asus doesn't really want us to upgrade their crappy hard drive to a better one. Well, I'm gonna get it out and this is gonna happen whether they want me to or not. And now with the fancy new hard drive installed, we're gonna do a little bit of a comparison. And by this, I basically mean how long it takes for it to turn on. So what I'm gonna do in the first one is turn it on and then film through the entire process. Now, it, this is gonna take fairly long, so I'm gonna speed up the footage for the boot with the normal hard drive. And now here's the laptop with the SSD installed. And I don't have to speed up the footage at all because it's pretty much instantaneous. Now, yes, I do understand that this is a fresh install of Windows on the SSD laptop, as opposed to a three or four year old install. Look at that. No and then way. it like, it's like responsive immediately. And before you have time to be shocked at how much faster it is, it's finished and it's immediately responsive and it works like a genuine computer. Now again, I just want to give two caveats to this. The first one is that it doesn't change anything about the processor and the graphics card in the laptop. So your laptop isn't going to go from being very slow to a gaming beast because its graphics card is still old and its CPU is still old, so it's still gonna be bad at things like gaming and productivity. But there are more things that make it worth it. One, a mechanical drive isn't supposed to be moved because it's got a platter spinning with kind of arms going over it. If you bump it, the the arms can actually scratch the discs and damage the actual hard drives. Whereas with an SSD, there aren't any moving parts. So when you're wildly shaking your laptop around, it's not gonna damage the hard drive. It might damage other things, but the hard drive and the data on it isn't going to break. And another thing is that SSDs are also way more power efficient than normal hard drives. And with that, I think that's all I have to say about that. I've already spoken at way more length than I should have about this topic. Anyway, if you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends who are always complaining about how terribly slow their laptop is. And maybe even offer to install a new SSD for them. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Bye bye.